Welcome back to Tutorial Tidbits. I'm Elizabeth St. Hilaire and this week I'm going to teach you how to and the benefits of sketching on paper first, working out your sketch, erasing, editing, and then transferring it to a prepared mixed media background. So if you've got a few minutes, this is going to save you a lot of time. So this week's lesson is one in a multi-part series on creating this ephemera oxidized background with molding paste. And now we are going to transfer a sketch that was drawn from life onto this um, prepared base. So what I like to do with this is rather than sketching and erasing on here, and making mistakes and edits with the graphite on here, I have done my sketch on a piece of sketch paper. I've erased and my, made my edits on a piece of sketch paper, and now I'll use graphite transfer paper to neatly transfer my sketch to the base um, that we have built in the previous lessons on Patreon. So this is a multi-series of video lessons on my Patreon page, and that's how my Patreon page works. I do part one through part five step-by-step -step instructions on how to create this background, add the molding paste, transfer the sketch, and go all the way through collage. So in order to transfer the sketch, we're going to take graphite transfer paper, two sheets, shiny side down, and put them over the prepared background. Then we're going to put the sketch on top and uh, you could secure it with tape but I'm just going to hold it with my left hand and I'm going to be sketching um, tracing over my own sketch with a ballpoint pen because it has a hard sharp point and I'm going to trace over my own drawing um, until I get all of that information traced onto the onto the substrate and then um, I'm going to pull it up and peek and make sure that I haven't missed any spots before I dismount the uh, sketch paper. So you're going to go through and, and transfer your own sketch so that it's neat and clean onto the base. So now I've got my sketch transferred nice and clean to my uh, mixed media background. So uh, the next step in the Patreon series of lessons will be to add some gold leaf on top of the orange and behind the flowers. And I'm going to do that so that I get a little halo of orange sort of around the edge of the flowers. If I had laid the gold leaf and then put the sketch on top of it, I wouldn't get any of this kind of cool orangey red background kind of poking through the gold leaf. So I'm going to apply the uh, adhesive in a way that allows some of this to peek through. But that's going to be um, the next lesson, which will be on my Patreon page in full length with in-depth um, instructions. So if you're interested in that, check out um, your information button in the upper right hand corner of this window and pop on over to my Patreon page to learn more about monthly subscription for in-depth learning. So once you get the transfer, your sketch is uh, something that you would save to look at in case you want to refer back to it. But this is now ready for the next step, which is going to be adding the gold leaf down in between some of the flower shapes and then underpainting this floral as uh, in preparation and as a roadmap for the collage application. So um, the remainder of these lessons will be available on Patreon, and I hope you appreciate this sneak peek into my Patreon page. Um, the process of sketching on paper, erasing and working out your sketch on paper, and then transferring it onto your prepared board is applicable um, for a lot of projects, and I thought that it would be helpful for you this week. Happy Friday, and thank you for being here.